And we are continuing to follow those developments in Bridgeport, where police continue to investigate what they say was an incident involving an officer at Main Street and Catherine Street last night. Fox 6 to Angela Bavar joining us again with an update. Uh, Angela, what can you see out there? Any new information at this point? Yeah, good morning, guys. So we are still waiting on that update about what exactly this incident was that involved police here in Bridgeport, but this investigation it is still very much active this morning and at this hour. So I want to get right to the scene. This is right as you enter the city of Bridgeport, right at Catherine Street and Main Street. And as you take a look, you can see part of Catherine Street is shut down to traffic. This does seem to be where all of the activity happened last night. We've got this silver car that is on scene on the sidewalk here, just completely smashed in. It looks like it smashed into that traffic pole. And then we've also got that state trooper that is on scene. We've seen Bridgeport police on scene as well. And if you look to the left of them, we've got, of course, these police cars that are on scene, but it does seem to be other cars. We've got about three other cars that do not look like police cars that are here in that police tape as well. So we've got that black car, that white truck, and then we've got another black SUV up front here. Those do not appear to be police cars from what we can see, but state troopers have been searching those cars as well this morning. And check this out because we do have some video from last night showing there was a large law enforcement presence out here as well then. Now at that time, police did appear to be focusing on this silver car with that smashed front end and FBI personnel also at the scene last night. And then we also saw an ambulance leaving the area as well. However, no word yet about any injuries or if anybody was taken to the hospital at this point. So again, Bridgeport police only confirming this was an incident involving a police officer, an officer involved incident. That is what they are calling. And this investigation still very much active this hour. As you take a look at the scene, you can walking around the police tape here. A lot of police presence. If you take a look in this direction, if we can pan over, this is a very large scope of police activity because if you look over here again, this is right as you enter the city. We've got more police officers that are stationed out here. We've also got the state police crime squad truck that is stationed out here as well. A lot of police tape around this area. So, of course, as we get any more updates about what exactly is going on here, a very active investigation. We'll pass those along to you at home. But for now, reporting live in Bridgeport, I'm Angelo Bavar, Fox 61 News. All right, Angelo, a two part question for you, if I could. Earlier reports, we had said that the FBI was out at the scene. Curious if there's any indication that they are still out there this morning. And then secondly, if you would, as the morning progresses, traffic could certainly be an issue. Do you see anyone out there kind of rerouting drivers at this point? So first part question, FBI, we did mention that they were here last night. I've been looking around to see any indication that they are still unseen. As far as what we can see from where we are right now, we're not seeing FBI. But again, I have been looking out for them and they could be here. We're just not seeing them at this point. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we see them and traffic concerns. Yeah, it was kind of crazy because this is right as you enter the city. We're not seeing anybody detouring traffic. We did not have any problems getting into the city. Besides this part that is closed right here, it does not look like any other uh, streets are closed, but that is something people are definitely going to want to be aware of if there are any closures around here. We'll be checking on that as well.